pen tablet is the right choice over a screen tablet if you're budget constrained, already an experienced artist, do mostly sculpting, or have back and neck problems hunching over a screen. But the learning curve of the pen tablet is non-trivial, especially if you're a newer artist. This mental barrier can lower your confidence and make it more difficult to stay committed to digital art. If you're newer to art, especially drawing, and can afford it, the screen tablet is probably the better choice. I'm a big fan of Michael Hampton's book, so I signed up for his figure drawing class, where he told us that he uses a simple pen tablet to do many of his digital drawing. And this sort of blew my mind. I wondered if I had wasted my money on an expensive screen tablet when a pen tablet would work just as well. So I purchased a Wacom Intuos Pro pen tablet to see how it would compare to my Cintiq Pro screen tablet. And I forgot to turn my mic on when I did this unboxing, so I'm just going to simulate the sounds. Slide. Also slide. Open. Also. Satisfying peel. Satisfying peel. Crinkle, crinkle. All done. The first time I used the pen tablet, I was surprised at how effective I was with it. Now, I wasn't as good as I was with the screen tablet, but still. It only took me a few days to get over the learning curve and feel comfortable drawing things that I was already good at, like gestures and simple forms in anatomy. Stepping outside my comfort zone to things that I'm not already good at was much harder. I've been trying to learn original character design, and it felt very cumbersome to use the pen tablet for that. I sort of just didn't want to deal with the extra mental effort it took to use the pen tablet. I mean, I already don't know what I'm doing, and I feel like I'm making it worse by having to use the pen tablet. The screen tablet, that's not a problem. I can just pick it up and use it, and I don't really even notice the tool. Now, I eventually sort of got over this. It took me a good month or two to kind of get to the point where I stopped noticing that I was using the pen tablet and could just focus on the art I was making. And six months into my review, I feel very confident on this device. But still, some part of me prefers to use the screen. Because even after all this time, there's still a teeny bit of extra mental effort to use the pen tablet. Now, sometimes because of the way my life is, I have to take long breaks from actually practicing my art. Now, I'm not going to mention any names, but there are certain people in my life that take up a lot of my time. I found that when I would come back from these breaks and have to use the pen tablet, the learning curve made it just a little bit harder to open Photoshop and start drawing and made it a little bit easier to open YouTube or Resident Evil 7. But that's not the case with the screen tablet. I can come back after a long break and right away I feel comfortable drawing on the screen tablet. Now even though there is this initial learning curve, once I got over that, my art was about the same between the pen and the screen tablet. What was that? You good? He's good. The final products looked just as good. This is important to note, if your art is already where you want it to be, a pen tablet is unlikely to have any negative impact on your art. It's more difficult for me to draw with my shoulder when using the pen tablet, so I tend to draw with my wrist, which causes me to make shorter, jabbier strokes in line. Now this isn't necessarily a bad thing, but it takes more time and shows a little bit of a lack of confidence in my sketches. And my art preference is to have these stronger, more flow lines that are faster to draw and I think look a little bit better. Now this is probably a skill that I could improve over time using my shoulder instead of my wrist on the pen tablet, but in the few months that I used the pen tablet I, I didn't really get over it. And this sort of brings me to my next point, which is ergonomic. This is a really big one because I think this is really the only reason why someone who already owns a screen tablet might want a pen tablet. If you have any kind of back issues or neck issues where hunching over a screen for long periods of time is gonna hurt you, the pen tablet is gonna be a big, big help. When I use my screen tablet, even when I try my best to use good posture, I end up having a sore back or neck if I draw for more than a few hours. I've actually had it get so bad that I had to take a few days off from drawing altogether. But with a pen tablet, it's so much easier to keep good posture. Basically the same thing as typing, and I don't really get any soreness in my back or neck anymore. But that comes with a cost. As I mentioned before, I tend to use my wrist more when I draw, and this extra strain on my wrist has actually caused a lot of fatigue fatigue and pain when I move it. I've never really had any wrist pain, but I started to develop this kind of like click in my wrist. It's not that it's overly painful, but it's uncomfortable and my wrist feels really, really 
tired. Like, I can't draw for nearly as long as I want. And ironically, I have fairly strong wrists, so I was surprised by this issue. So yes, posture is much better with the pen tablet, but I just sort of traded my back problems for a wrist problem. This would probably go away if I got better at drawing with my shoulder, but it was still hard to overcome. The other thing I wanted to say is that I absolutely squeeze the shit out of this pen when I use it with the pen tablet. I think I'm just nervous to make a mistake because I'm not as good. I feel like I might be less precise, but I have to consciously remind myself to relax and ease up when I'm using this thing. I'm definitely pressing harder too. Wacom gives you these little paper-like nibs that are softer with your pen tablet. And I feel like I go through one every week or two. They just get worn down. I love how convenient it is to move this pen tablet around my desk. When I'm done with art for the day, I just put the tablet aside and pull my keyboard out and think about how I have 30 years of work left before I can retire. Sculpting felt so much better with the pen tab. I'm not a big fan of using the screen for sculpt. My hand gets in the way and it's really hard to see the model as I work. And when I'm sculpting, I don't need my strokes to be very precise or complicated. So if you're someone that does mostly 3D sculpting or modeling or texturing, save the money and get the pen tablet. It's a better experience. <laughs> Your thighs are too thick. You got thick the price difference for these two tablets that I'm comparing is $1,700. But it's sort of hard to answer the question if the screen tablet is worth the extra money. Because it's such a different thing, it's hard to directly compare them. So I think a better question to answer is, if I can't afford a screen tablet right now, is it still worthwhile to buy a pen tablet? And my answer would be absolutely yes. You can produce high quality work with a pen tablet and continue to learn and grow as an artist, even if there is a learning curve. Maybe you're not sure you're gonna be committed to digital art. This is a really good, inexpensive option. You can always get a screen tablet later on and the skills will absolutely transfer. Now, if you have the money for a screen tablet, it's a little bit more of a challenging quest. If you can afford it and digital art is something you're planning on doing for a little while, go with the screen tablet. It's really, really worthwhile. Easier to learn on and it's a good long-term investment. You deserve the best equipment. You're going to spend a lot of time on this equipment, so you should get something that's worthwhile. But I will say it can be harder to jump back into using the pen tablet. And if you're like me, you need as little barrier to entry as possible when starting your art process. If the majority of your work is sculpting or texturing, the pen tablet is the right choice. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video made during my incredibly generous four and a half month paternity leave. And now that I have two kids, look forward to the next review that comes out when I maybe have my third baby. And get another sweet four and a half months. Fascinating!